Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Corolla. That generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you need to, uh, guys, find the fuse for license plate light, where that fuse is located. If your license plate light does not work, always check that fuse first. We'll explain where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way, you do not waste money and time. What's important, guys, to always test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure it's there until the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we'll show you how to do engine work transmission mechanical body work anything you can think of practically on this channel specifically we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that toyota corolla that generation guys if you have one of those we'll be making a video for every single fuse every single relay let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your car does not want to start you can and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad you're not getting fuel you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay fuel pump fuse really quickly watch the video spend a minute or two replace it you're back on the road because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusing uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now for the license plate light fuse where you can expect to find it we will demonstrate on that generation Toyota Corolla here you guys have multiple fuse boxes in that car today we're working just one that's on the driver's side open the driver door once you open the driver door guys okay you will need to come on the left side under the dash look upside down on the very bottom of the dash you'll find a white cover like this one remove it and underneath you'll find a fuse box layout for the interior fuse box that looks like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out for the license plate light we need to check just one fuse guys oh by the way if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for toyota corolla or any car at a really good price quick shipping we will put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from that way you do not waste money and time so if you come here and we start on that section that's fuse 17 through 32 we will need to start counting fuse number 17 18 19 20 so after that is 21 that fuse guys right here okay uh will be uh 20 20 will be the one that we will need to check but i recommend to check 21 as well just in case these two fuses that's the main fuse some people say that this is the secondary fuse so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time